What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about how to get a man to desire you. Or actually what you're pretty much doing wrong and why he's not chasing you, okay? So before we get started, I just want to tell you that I can go into extreme detail with this. And I can go on for hours and hours and hours and hours, but I'm obviously not going to do that, okay? So if you want this more in depth, if you want to learn how to keep a guy from pulling away, why, and the actual steps and in-depth um, conversation over it, then just click the link below to my value guide. It'll be in the description and in the comments, okay? That would, that would that, That's about 120-something pages more than what I'm about to give you, okay? So jumping right in, I want to say it's three things, okay? There's three steps, and women make a majority, 90% of women make a majority of their mistakes at the end of step two. And step three, so stay tuned for that, okay? The number one thing you obvi obviously have to do, this is, I just have to say this to say it, okay? The number one thing you have to do is actually have a spark, okay? And again, you know this, and a lot of you don't have this problem. You actually have a guy who is interested in you, um, who goes on a date, so you should assume that there's a spark. However, I need you to know that you just can't build all this stuff I'm about to tell you if there's not a spark there. Like if he's already pulling away, then you gotta recreate this spark. If he's not interested, then you gotta create the spark. All this other stuff I'm telling you doesn't matter unless you do this first part. And like I say, it's all about, you know, I'm gonna get real uh, broad here, but it's about, you know, the value, being feminine, uh, keeping, uh, keeping your red flags intact not talking about the future uh, and all that kind of stuff, showing that you're fun, showing that you know, you're in the moment, you're just happy-go-lucky, that his life is better with you in it than without you in it, right? All those kind of things. Um, but you, know, you have to have that first because if you're trying to sell, it's like if you're trying to sell someone a tennis racket or if you're trying to sell somebody a, a, pair, a pair of golf clubs at a really, really good price too, right? Quality things for a quality for a low price. It doesn't matter how good it sounds. If the guy isn't into golf or isn't looking to buy a tennis racket, then there's no value in what you're trying to sell. So the same thing is, ha is happening here. You have to create that value. You have to create that spark. Hey, you can burn down a whole damn forest if you want to, right? If, if you feed it and go with the momentum. But you can't burn a forest. You can't start a fire unless you have that spark. You have to start with that, okay? You have to show the guy uh, your value proposition. You have to show him that, hey, I'm the effing shit. Everyone wants to get into this club, so come on in, okay? That's what you got to do. Now, the second thing is the building stage, okay? Now that he's in the club, you know, and he's getting the free VIP and, you're, you know, and all that kind of stuff, great. You have to extend the conversation, build upon the chemistry, build sexual tension, build rapport, have a little investment into each other, right? Like you're trying to fill each other out here, okay? But here's the problem now, get, actually getting to it. Here's the problem a lot of women make. They tend to give the guy everything in the very beginning and to, um, like, they fall harder than the guy, okay? And because of that, they try to win the guy over by, again, giving him that free VIP access all the time. If you're in the, if we're going to use the club analogy still. If, you know, the club's closes at two, you're going to extend it to four to talk to him more. You're going to try to talk to him all the time. You're going to give him all the bit, you know, all those kind of things, right? And the problem with that is while you're giving them all this, it goes on to stage three, which I say is limiting uh, benefits. Okay, so you're giving them all this in stage two. So when the time comes for him to commit, he's already, here's the problem, he's already taxed, bored, already knows what he's getting himself into, you know, things like that. The best analogy to use is, why buy a cow? I'm not saying you're a cow, but why buy a cow if I get the milk for free? The problem women have is if this is the line where it says, hey, I want a relationship, right? So you're going through this. He's going up, up, up because you're giving him all the stuff he wants. And then, you know, he gets tired of it because, hey, you, you can love Disneyland, Six Flags and amusement parks. But if you're going to go every day for six weeks or a month, you're going to get tired, bored and take it for granted. So he's going like this, going like this. Bam. He's, it's when he's going down is when women start to ask him, hey, I want a relationship. Hey, I want this. Hey, where are we going? What's this? What's that? Right? And he's just not feeling it as much because he's thinking, I, I you know, I, yeah, she's cool, but 
Like, why would I want to commit? Because when you ask him at that moment in time, he's thinking, why commit? Like, he's not getting any benefit now, right? Because he's already having this cake and eating it too. When you ask him what he's wanting and trying to get, trying to tie him down, he's thinking, nah, like, I don't want to do that. I like where we're at right now. I'm having my cake and eating it too. So why would I commit? You know, that that's not really a benefit from him. But you, you know, it's going up, 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 up. Then it starts to dive down, and when you ask him, he's thinking, nah, man, like, I already know what I want, I'm a little taxed, or, I, you know, I already know what I'm getting from you, I'm a little taxed from it, a little bored, uh, I've been there, done that, I already know what I'm getting, you know, all those kind of things, so he doesn't want to do it. Now, the right way to go about this with women is you, you show them your value proposition in the beginning, right, you show them why it's worthy and why he should connect with it and, uh, and commit, then you prove it to him. And then you give it, then while you're proving it, it's a limited time offer. Think of it as a gym membership, right? Gym memberships do this all the time. You want to go to the gym? Okay. You'll go to the gym. Well, actually, let's take that back. You go, you know, you want to go to the gym, but you don't want to pay the 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 bucks a month, you know, to go to the gym, okay? But they say, hey, we'll give you a seven day free pass to try it out. So you go in for the seven days. You love it. You're seeing results. You're feeling great. You're, you're seven days in a row. Uh, you know, you're on that momentum. And then they say, nope, nice try. After seven days, you're not allowed in here anymore unless you want to buy, you know, unless you want to commit. You need to do the same thing. It's all about the timing. I always tell women about six to eight weeks. And Simon about that is how much you're giving and showing in the beginning. If you're doing too much in the beginning, he's going to pull away at the end because you know what? I hate, I mean, this is a terrible analogy, but he, ride, he, ride, he rode every ride at Disneyland, okay? Like, he done everything with you. He knows what he's getting. He knows how long the, the lines are. He knows what the pros and cons. Like, why is he going to want to commit? Um, and again, here's what women don't understand, too. It's, it's very logical for people to think, okay, you know, this is all great right here in the middle. Like, it's, it's great, great, you know, blah, blah, blah. But when I commit to her, I know it's not always going to be like this. There's going to be rough patches. We're going to get bored over time. It's going to get stagnant. There's going to be fights and conflicts, and it's going to go like this and then go like that. Okay? It's going to go down. He knows that. So why would he focus on commitment and then it going downhill and him being in a pickle now, right? Because if he's committed to you and it's going downhill, he got himself a conflict. He got himself a situation. So instead, you need to focus on creating creating the aura here and then cutting it off when it's at its highest, not when it's going down, Okay? So hopefully you get what I'm saying there. Hopefully I gave you some type of value. Again, if you need more in-depth on that, um, just go down and click the link below for my value guide. I love you, ladies. Take care and peace.